So it was a young company here. 2002, it was founded by Mr. Luis Perez. And Luis Perez, uh, he is a very well-known and respected person in winemaking business in Jerez. And he always had the desire, of course, to start his own company and also to put in his own views and his own ideas of making the products, of course. Uh, now, he could do so when he bought this property in 2002. Uh, when he bought this, uh, interesting to know is that this house here, we call it always the old house, but it was actually built as a winery building. Uh, we're going to see that when we go inside because we have the tasting inside. And it was built in 1844 when he bought it. Here all around was sunflowers and wheat. No vineyard anymore, so he had to start all over. That's one of the reasons that he could start with a new project, with red wines. The other reason is actually because he simply said he's a romantic. He is a man from this region. When the grapes come here in small boxes, they will be put here onto this table and this table starts to vibrate. That's why there's the gaps here, so the first dirt will fall out, but we don't want it to the wine, of course. Further, next to the table will stand people. They will take out big leaves, uh, bigger parts, grapes that have been broken, so everything that they see is not good for the wine, they will actually take out. Fall into the tank, and very important is what I mentioned already in the vineyard. It's all one variety at a time. So, what happens is, of course, here they fall into, let's say, just mellow or just seed up. One variety at a time on a low temperature. The tank will be at 5 degrees Celsius. Do you mature it in wood? And if so, what type of wood will all give different flavors of the wine? And the only one that decides that is the winemaker. So in that way, you can always see it's always a little bit the secret of the winemaker. So up here, we have the logo of a company. And of course, when they thought of the logo, they said, okay, what is important to our company? And they directly came with the animals, and especially the dogs. So let's start with our rosé, Marismia. Vintage year, of course, 2015. First of all, when we look at the color, you can see here that it gets a beautiful salmon color, a little bit of bronze. For me, it gives a feeling of festivity. To... Now, if you now swirl, you will get a bit more intense smell. If you're not sure how to swirl, it's always good to place the glass on top of the table and just give it a good go. Don't let the glass go, but <laughs> give it a good go. And then you will definitely get more intense fruit smells, actually, from the wine. And then here, our Samaruko, we call it actually our serious wine. Here, really, we have clearly thought about, and it's a wine that needs a little bit more attention, that needs to sit down at the table, have a little bit more stronger meal, an interesting gathering of people that really understand wine. So that's a bit the way that we look at our wines.